Hello everyone on YouTube, my name is Filipa and today we're going to be playing Standard Best of One. And today I was thinking of a deck that I wanted to bring and I couldn't really find a deck that I was winning enough because if I'm just losing with a deck, I will not play it on YouTube because I feel like it's super irre irrelevant if I'm like 0-10 with the deck. Why would I bring it for YouTube for you to like fail miserably? So I try to get decks... Not that I get a 100% win rate, but that I get a positive win rate, you know? At least if they are really fun, they can have like close to 50, but yeah, I try to get most win percentage as possible. And when I don't have ideas, what I did was check my favorite content creator, MTG Malone. Big shout out to my friend, I know he's not going to mind that I yoinked his idea. And I saw this deck that he played a couple of days ago and I really wanted to try it. So I decided to switch some cards, make it better. Sorry Malone, but my version is actually better than yours. And you cannot deny me, I think this version is a bit better. And it's this Simic ramp, I love Simic, I love ramping. Um, I mean, I love mono green ramp, you know. This one just flashes a bit of blue for some mean things that we are going to be doing. We have two Green Sun Twilight, and we reveal the top X plus one cards from my library, choose a creature and or a land for them, and put them in your end, but if the X is five or more, so if you spend at least six mana in this spell, you can put that into the battlefield instead, so a land and a creature, so that's really good. Um, and we have three Joint Exploration, this card, like, Big, big shout out to MTG Malone because I would forget this card exists, but it's actually really good in this deck. It's two mana instant speed and it has a kicker, so if you pay three mana for it, scry two then draw a card. If it was kick, you may put a land from your end onto the battlefield, so it's another great way to ramp. We have four Bramble Familiars, you know I run this every day now on my ramp decks. We have four the Goose Matters and this card is so much fun, so uh, it's an X green and blue. It reminds me of Hydrate Crisis some years ago. Let me know in the comments if you used to play with Krasis. That card was even more insane, especially against Agro, because he used to gain life. Goosey is not that good, but it's still really good. Uh, it's a 2-2 flyer, and it enters battlefield with X plus 1 plus 1 counters on it, and when the Goose Matters enters battlefield, create half X food tokens rounded up, and whenever Goose Matter attacks, you may sacrifice a food, and if you do, you draw a card. Then we have three Nisa Resurgent Animist. MTG Malone was not playing this card, but let me tell you, friend, I think you are sleeping on this one because Nisa is such an amazing card. It's three mana, three, three landfall. Whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control, add one mana of any color. Then if this is the second time, his ability has resolved, reveal cards from the top of the library until you reveal an elf or elemental. You put that card into your hand and the rest on the bottom of the battlefield in a random order. This card itself is a uh, elf, but we also have more elementals. So, for example, the Titan of Industry is an elemental. Then we have three Stompers. We have, this is just going to ramp us, you already know, for four Vigilance, it's a very good card, but it only can block or attack when you have seven or more lands. Good for us, we're trying to get our A a way in to get this very early on the game. We have two Invasion of Zendikar. Once again, this deck is all about the ramp. Invasion of Zendikar works really, really well with Nissa as well, because if you already have Nissa on the battlefield and then you're playing Invasion, you're going to get a lot of mana from that. Uh, we have three Blossoming Turquoise. This card is playing in Pioneer. It's a 4-mana 3-3 three, three whenever it enters battlefield or attacks you mill three cards. Then you return a land card from your graveyard to the battlefield tapped. And activated abilities of lands you control cost one less to activate and land creatures get plus one plus one. So that's really good with our little Restless Vine Stalk. We have three Orn Lock Whales. Uh, this for two mana is great against aggro decks because you're going to put target attacking creature that you don't control in the top or bottom of your library. And then it's a flash 6-6. Six, six. We have two Gruff Triplets. If you've played Drafty Season, you know this card is brutal. It's a six mana 3-3 three, three Trample. Whenever it enters the battlefield, if it isn't a token, create two tokens that are copies of it. And whenever this dies, put any number of Put a number of plus one plus one counters equal to its power on each creature you control. Name Gruff Triplets. So you have three three threes. When the first one die, the other ones are going to get plus three plus three. Then there are six sixes. Then when the six six die, it, the other one becomes a twelve twelve. So that that's kind of crazy. Uh, we have three Titan of Industry. This card gains you life. 
bakes four fours, takes you coffee, uh, gets you out for a dinner date. It does everything for you. We have one Tyranek Rex. This is great against those counter magic decks because this cannot be countered. And it's Trample, Ward 4 and Aced and it has Toxic 4. We have two Nisa. Nisa is not like... You have nine forests, which is good, but sometimes it's not even by the minus in this case. It's because you're also not going super wide. You're more like baking big creatures. But it's really good to create you some monsters and also to destroy artifacts or enchantments. So this card overall is just great in this deck. We have three lands, one Otowara, one Busejo, nine forests, four Dream Root Cascade, three Restless Vine Stalk. Once again, this is going to make you a 5 5 that um, whenever it attacks up to one target creature has base power and toughness 3 3. Um, and this is going to cost one less if you have Blossoming Turquoise and also get a plus one plus one. And we have four y Yav Yamama cost. Y Yavimaya Coast, that's the name. <laughs> Let's play some games. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, that really helps. I mean, 50% of you are not subscribed yet, why? Comment down below, tell me which one is your favorite color of magic. Just to boost out the YouTube algorithm. And now, let's go. This is an easy keep. We have some ramp, we have Nisa. We have a big whale. Our opponent is already mulliganing, which works for us. We'll start with the forest. Uh, oh no. Okay, at least, okay, it's not a red, but at least, at least we are on the draw, on the play. Uh, unless you control two or more. So we're going to do this. We're going to cast a 2 2 that will give us hopefully mana if it does survive, because we know. We know that uh, red players do like to kill things, so... Okay, so far so good. Okay, no removal, that's great, we have to take some damage, but that's fine. Ooh, we have a goose as well, which is very interesting. I think I'm going for a turquoise, turquoise, try to ramp. Okay, we already found a land in grave, that's great. And yes, our opponent does create a 2 2 now. We might see a lightning strike, but next turn we're able to create a big boost as well. Okay, it's actually really good for us because they cannot really attack except to the 5 5. Uh, okay, so I think it's time. Hmm. I'm thinking we might just do Nisa land and pass. I'll keep this as a surprise. A little whale. That's fine. I feel like there's a lightning strike. Okay, no lightning strike, so that's great for us. The Godric, though, scares me. They chose to put every egg in the same basket, which... Fair enough. But now we have this. So that goes to end. We do lose a life, but... So that happens, I lose a life. Now I have to be smart in my blocks. So this... This... And this. We still take three. Mm -mm -mm. I think I want to do the goose just for two. Keep some mana to be able to gain life. And I'm actually going to attack with the turquoise. Tortoise. No land, unfortunately, so I'm just going to pass. Once again, being able to gain life is key here. I think they might go for the land, but that's not really good for them. So, okay. I can go Odawara, but does that really? I think I just, I just get a foot. Ooh, that's very tempting. 
So if I do five, what happens? Uh, okay, so we can choose this land, and we can choose... I guess another turtle, because why not? We do get some mana. Which is important, because that way I can try to delay them. I'm actually going to attack just with the turquoise. Two toys. I love crushing mono red. It's a revenge. It's what I love to do. Because mono red, it hurted us so much, YouTube, that it's time for us to hurt them back. No mercy, okay? No mercy allowed. No mercy for the mono reds. Let's go. Okay, we are on the play, so that's great. I've talked in the last video how much being on the play matters more and more these days, especially when this battlefield is full of mono reds. You know, my vendetta against Mono Red. By the way, remember, remember the 5th of November. What are you going to be doing on the 5th of November? Okay, that's completely fine ish actually I think I want to run you know what I mean a little turquoise true toys turquoise is like a color right why do I say I'm like my friend Marco if you're watching my friend watches my videos and I'm like yeah do you enjoy them and he's like I think it's funny that you mispronounce every card and he's not wrong you know what I mean it does hurt, but it is true, like... It does have a point. Ooh, when I'm able to cast that, life will be very, very delicious. So we do another turtoise. And when I'm able to do this titan, things will be good. Which, if they don't destroy my bramble, somehow it can be next turn, so, you know. They don't have mana, so that's really good for us really really good we can do this and do that and this i have to gain some life i even attack because why not we went lens lens in this house lens every day all day that's all i want um, it kind of feels bad because my opponent stuck on two lands and I've played like four, five, six, seven lands plus a ramper and I, I feel dirty, like it's not good. I apologize, Brooke. By the way, today on my stream, somebody lost against me and then they added me. I don't know how they found my name, to, your name to add me, but they did add me to say so lucky or something like that, so alarm. Okay. So, 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 I have options, which is always great. Um, do I want to go Bramble Familiar? Why not? Like, why not? Sometimes you just gotta go for it. Just gotta go for it. I attack with everything. They have okay. They have first striker, so I don't know if that was good, but I think it was not bad. Because even if that does die as a tribute, that's fine. So that goes as a tribute. That goes. 
But I still have a 7-7, seven, seven, I still have a 4-4, four, four, I still have 22 life. And then these Mother of Gooses can be really good as well. So I think they can attack. You ramp, you win. That's how it works. GG. I keep this. A fun fact about my channel is that only around 30% of the people stick until this time. You know, some leave during the intro, some stay a bit longer. But if you are here, you are a true MVP that really enjoys watching my videos. And I want to say thank you so much. Like, I enjoy YouTube so much and growing YouTube. Uh, it's been such a dream come true. So just letting you know that I appreciate you, you know? I do appreciate you. I think I might do a goose for zero. I know that that, that sounds kind of not great. It's a 2-2 two -two flyer, but I do have follow-ups. Like, this deck tends to get really good draws. And I, I j against, especially against this deck, I just want to have something to start doing, you know? Before they start going on shenanigans. You know what they do. They do some mean things. Okay. Leyline Binding. No, 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 no. Because they don't have weight. Okay, Virtue of Persistence. Yeah, that, that deck also plays with that now, which is another great one. So we can go and ramp, which is great. We love to ramp. Mm, I think even Forest would be okay, but I'm going for Island. Next we have Nisa. Then we play land, we'll have three lands available, but that doesn't really allow, allow us to get whales, so I'll think about it. Oh, they're playing Bramble. They're coughing, yes. Okay, green Sun Twilight. We can do it for three. Or I can just sneeze some. I lost one mana this way, but it's okay. I'm just going to potentially play the Orned Lock Whale. Even though they're not attacking, but... They have access to 5 mana now. And this needs an... It is... It is scary, I would say. My Little Pony... Likes to use this good... Ooh, Luca. What does Luca do? Oh, ah, okay. So they can... They can create a 3-3, three, three, which... You know what? It's fine. I would say. So I can do this for five, right? Five, like this. Ha 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 ha! We love that. Now we'll be able to attack, which is great, I would say. Okay, so let me see what I can do. So I can... Do this, this. I'll put a shield counter here. Doesn't really matter. Or does it? Okay, I might not do Bramble Familiar for one simple reason. They might have a board wipe. For that reason, I'm just going to keep this here. They have Sunfall, so the shield counter doesn't matter that much. In that scenario. They do need a second white, though, so let's see. For sure that Luca is going away. So the question is, do they want to trade a shield counter for a 3-3? Three, three? Okay, so looks like opponent kind of timed out almost, but... See if they do anything in their turn. These whales will also be really helpful. Kind of looks like they were struggling on mana, always playing tap land. I don't know. We, ra we are ramping better. They also have a ramp deck, but we are just doing it better. We are just teaching them how to ramp one or one. Nisa is also such an underrated card. I just love this card. I think MTG Malone, when I yoink this deck from his channel, um, did not play this, and I added it. So I think that's one of the differences that I made. Let me check. I think that is a difference that I made it. Um, 
and it really kind of worked out well, I think. Yeah, so I did some difference to the deck, and one of them is this Nisa, and I really love this Nisa. I don't know why Malone didn't play it, but I'm sure he had his reasons. Just saying, but I'm going to attack with everything, going wild, you know? I mean, I could attack with land as well, but just kind of testing out the waters. There might be some ley line binding on the way. I can also do this left side. Yeah, an opponent just concedes at this point. I mean, we did have a lot of advantage, a lot of ramp, but that's what the deck wants to be doing. Let's go. Opponent goes first. This is a greedy end if I see one. We might need to mold this. This is quite greedy. Of course, I mean, we can play the, the Goose Mother for two. Uh, okay, I'm... Okay, YouTube, if I lose this one, I'll take the guild. Oh no, it's mono. It's... It's mono red. It's mono red. I might have made an oopsie. No! They always have the mono red. Okay, one top. I do not like that one bit. Yeah, I don't know if I can beat this deck on the play, but that's a good card, I would say. I'll play the Goose Mother just for zero, just to have some sort of blocker. Then we can go Stomper. But then I cannot block with Stomper, so I don't know. If I get to Titan, I, like, I don't really lose, right? That's the thing. I'm actually going to take it. They did not, they don't have red, so that's good. At least they're having like Honest, I wouldn't say like a slow start, but they are not the fastest start. So let's see. Next I have the Otawara, but the Otawara against them is also not great. It's going to take me a while to get to where I want to be. Okay, I'm going to trade these now. They get two cards. I hope it's no mountain, but probably it will be. Okay, no mountain. Great for me. So they cannot play it. Okay, so that ended up being good for me, for sure. So here I can just go Odawara. Yeah, I think I do Odawara, because next turn I can do this for five. Yeah, so I'm going to just keep this to be able to do Odawara. Delay them. They do something like a squee. I'm at 11. Okay, not much I can do about that. Okay, so here I think I do this one. We still take a lot of damage. So I need this to be good. Okay, so we do find... This will give me mana, but then I cannot do anything with the mana. Next turn I will be able, so I might as well do something tapped. Anissa. She's like the best blockers. And at least now this can attack, which is, could be worse. So now I can attack with this even because it does have um, vigilance. And now, now we hope for the best. Like, if this Titan of Industry resolves, we are in a good spot because we do gain 5 life, we create a 4-4. Four, four. So, like, that's good. And this has reach. So they attack with everything. Um, definitely something like this, and I'm taking 3. Face makes sense, but good thing that I have the Titan that now can flip things for me. Uh, I can do this for sure, get land, do this. And here we can do that and gain life. Go back to seven. Okay, so now we are not doing too bad. I even attack with everything because we need to try to kill them next turn. And if I recoup this freaking game against Mono Red, we can do anything in this world. I'm just saying. 
Okay, so definitely these blocks here, because you guys reach these blocks here. Because uh, I don't want to give them four cards, right? I mean, I can just do... Yeah, I do this here and do these here. Because I don't want to give them so many cards. Okay, so with fire, that's fine. And then I think we just win. If we can do this against Mono Red that was on the play and we were on the draw with kind of a greedy end, I will admit, we can do anything, YouTube. We can do it. This deck can take us to the moon. Believe. Believe in the cleave. But not really, because we are playing Simi Cramp. Okay? Believe in the deck. This is a great end. Um, I'm on the play, even. I, it will take me a couple of turns to do anything, but I... I feel conf confident. I feel good about this. Okay, so forest go. That's fine. I want to do this with the kicker, I think. I feel like that's a good way to leave. And then Nisa, I like to do it on fourth turn. Potentially. Okay, so they can bargain, they can go for some land. They're also kind of afraid because they don't know what I'm playing and I have blue. Okay, so we play the better land and we pass. This is an instant, we can kick it, get some cards, get some ramp. If they don't play anything too concerning... Okay, that's kind of concerning. Stomper is okay, I guess. So this way I can do the Stomper, put a land into play, and keep enough for this. So that's the plan. If I could do Nisa and then Invasion, that would be just so good. So here they can just do it again, um, which now that I've gained tempo, it's pretty okay. And I can always get land, like, for sure with Invasion, but I would be feel better if I get a land and I can miss some. Okay, they said just play it again. Ooh, that's rough. That's rough, isn't it? I think it's the Goose Mother. Although, it's my payoff. Rough, 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 rough. I think it is this, though. So we did get what we kind of wanted. Still not enough, unfortunately. To get my horn. Ooh, but that's a good one to have. This has first strike that touch. I cannot really attack. This will be great, though, if it, it's not discarded for another Opalus Nightmare. We have a lot of mana. So I can Titan of Industry. Destroying the Opalus Nightmare is not great. They might have Besiege. I, I have Besiege in mine, uh, although they don't have the Turret Swamp, so it's not Besiege. They're just looking at that like they want to bargain it or something. I have to take this not like to, but it has to be. Yeah, no surprise there. I think they are looking for land. Possibly. Possibly. At least now I can attack that invasion. They have removal, like, that's fine, you know? If they have double removal, that's not as fine, but okay, fair enough. I can do that. I can do the shield. The shield is really good against the Glissa and like also against Go for Throat. If they have a way to exile, they have a way to exile. There's not much I can do there, but. Actually, it's fine. I mean, it's not fine, but... 
regarding the circumstances. Okay, that's not bad. I'm going to try to attack there. Okay, so I get that at least. I think they didn't know how the protection worked, kinda. Which, fair enough. One and two. I cannot do another whale, so it would be good if they attacked with Chili, but I doubt that's going to happen. So they get a forest, they play it. I need to start attacking with stuff. And they just concede. They just concede the game is ours. Let's go. I feel like we cannot lose with this deck. We're just winning, 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 winning. Let's go. This is going to be the last game, so wish me luck. Let's see if we can just... Ooh. This is very greedy. I don't like it. It's even, even for me, it's kind of greedy. Especially if they are playing like mono red. What do I do? Nothing. It's a bit better. Just a bit. Invasion is great, but if they are playing mono red, it's just the worst card that exists. They doubt these familiar resolves, though. They're playing Gruul, usually that's like very aggressive. Okay, that's fine. The weird part about these exact cards that I have in hand is that... Yeah, they have two damage there. Like, fine. Um, is that... Okay, so I if I don't draw anything that I can play next turn, I have to do this for two just to try to get stuff. Yeah, okay, take that, that's fine. Their land situation is awkward for sure, because they have been pinging away. So that's my only hope, is that they're kind of having an awkward mana situation, and that I can ramp them out. Looks like that is happening. Um, I hope I found find something good here. Nisa is that Okay, so Nisa and... I can only choose one. I think it has to be Nisa. I can do Busseja next turn, which is good. I can do Nisa, land and have mana. It's not enough. Kumano is awkward for me. This is going to start being very dangerous with that Picnic Ruiner. That, there might be like the Monstrous Rage or something I'm thinking of. So then that thing has like Double Strike. I take a bunch of damage. I'm taking 13. I'm probably dead. I don't know what Nisa can get it like. I really don't. And they have, it looks like they have more, so I'm most likely dead. Oh yeah. GG opponents, you were really, really fast, so you deserve to win. I have to leave it to you. And it's Xaxis. Good games. Good games. I admit. I'm grateful, graceful in defeat. I feel like we cannot lose with this deck. We're just... Winning, 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 winning. Let's go. And that's it, y'all. I hope you enjoyed the video. I really like that we only lost one game against that pesky gruel that was really aggressive. Not much we could have done that. We also kept a bit of a, a greedy end. But I think the deck performed really well. It tried to do what it tried to do and it did it really well. So I wouldn't actually change any card. Uh, let me know what you thought of the deck down below. I had a great win rate with it. I posted actually all the games that I played with here 
it here on YouTube, so we went like five or six one, which is pretty good. Uh, don't forget to comment, subscribe, that really helps out with the algorithm and like, do all that stuff. Tell your mama about my videos. If your mama is not playing magic, she should. Uh, tell everyone you know to start watching my videos. <laughs> and that's it. I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.